In Scotland, quite a few towns have nicknames. Ochter Arder, for example, is known as the Langton. Its main street's about a mile and a half or something like that. Here in Kirkcaldy, on the other hand, the main street's something like four miles or thereabouts. So Kirkcaldy, which is also known as the Langton, should perhaps actually be known as the Really Langton. This is the promenade in Kirkcaldy. Big long thing. Goes on for quite a distance. I thought, I thought the promenade here was just a little bit on the dull side. It seems to lack a lot of things that other coastal town promenades have. And it's sometimes hard trying to put your finger on exactly what it's lacking, but you know, I, I don't see many cafes or bars and seats outside looking across the the vista of the, the first or fourth seems to be missing all that kind of thing. There's no wee shop selling rock or candy floss or anything. It's just a big long promenade that you can wander backwards and forwards. And it's separated from the town by a kind of busy, it looks like a dual carriageway. And looking onto quite a lot of building back ends. And I think Kirkcaldy could do quite a lot to improve its standing in the tourist world by addressing what I see as a problem in this area. Maybe shifting that road back a bit and building some cafes and bars and candy floss shops and doing something that would make this promenade come to life. But, uh, I mean, there are things to see in Kirkcaldy. You don't have to amble wearily backwards and forwards in this promenade. Uh, so we'll go up into the town and uh, have a look at a few things. And it is in Kirkcaldy's Museum and Art Gallery that we can see something of considerable historic interest. The pistols on display were used in the last recorded fatal duel in Scotland in 1826. David Landale, a linen merchant, stood just 12 paces away from George Morgan, an agent of the Bank of Scotland, in the early morning at Carden Barnes Farm. The possible mistake Morgan made, apart from engaging in behaviour that led to the duel in the first place, was in sticking to his tried and tested flintlock pistol, because Landale chose the newer type of percussion pistol, which may have been quicker in discharging a bullet. For when the guns fired, Morgan fell dead.
Kirkcaldy is quite unusual in that it has two nicknames. In addition to being known as the, the Langton, or in my books, the really Langton, it was at one time also known as the Smellytoon. And uh, this man here is wholly responsible for that tag. Michael Nairn lies here. Now, it's not that he had a bit of a gastrointestinal problem and manufactured a lot of wind or anything like that. Because Michael Nairn's almost wholly and solely responsible for the growth of the linoleum industry in Kirkcaldy. A massive industry that at one time saw essentially the whole world being supplied uh, with linoleum from Kirkcaldy. Most of that industry has gone and the vast numbers of people that were employed in the industry have now, I dare say, twiddling their thumbs. Um, but they do still make linoleum in Kirkcaldy and t to a much lesser extent and nevertheless that's got to be a good thing. This is Raven's Craig Castle. Wee bit of difficulty getting into it there. I get lost in a little modern housing scheme. It's always a bit of a bummer when you're wearing a rucksack and the ruddy complexion of one who has spent decades out of doors and you've got to ask a guy washing his car where the castle is. But we got there. Even if you have no interest in castles, and I'm sure there's no one in the whole world who falls into that category, you quite simply have to visit Raven's Craig Castle. For although much of the castle is inaccessible and there are no rooms open to creep around in, the view from the courtyard out over the Firth of Forth and Pathhead Sands to Kirkcaldy is awesome.
pot pot wine. Because pot noodles were invented in 1462. And so that's us in Dysart, emerging from that rock tunnel into the harbour with its old stone walls is like stepping into a nautical wonderland. It is just so utterly beautiful. I'm Eddie Burns. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again. <laughs>